Here are word problems with ratios and we will use the knowledge of our linear systems to solve them. Okay. Question number one. The sides of a rectangle are in the ratio of 3 to 2. What is the length of each side if the perimeter of the rectangle is 55? Okay. So let's first draw a rectangle. Let's see here is our rectangle. And the side lets the length and width be let's say width be w, length be l. Okay. So this is also w and this is also length. Right? And now once we have our variables and the diagram, we are in a position to write the equations. It says the sides of the rectangle are in the ratio of 3 is to 2. So let's say length is longer than width, so length is 3 times and 2 times is width of any particular number. So we can say, we can write this ratio of 3 to 2 means that 3 times length is equals to, well I have written the other way anyway, 3 times length equals to 2 times width. Okay. And it says the perimeter of each of the rectangle is 55. Perimeter means sum of all the sides, right? So, sum of all the sides means 2L plus 2W. So, we have 2 times length plus 2 times W equals to 55. Well, when we write 3 times length equals to 2 times width, we are trying to say that width is longer, okay, actually speaking. So this diagram doesn't really represent that, but we went with this ratio, okay. Now, we can rewrite this equation by bringing 2w on this side. So we say 3 times length minus 2 times w is equal to 0. Now you see, these two equations are can be solved simultaneously. Since there are two different equations, it forms a linear system, correct? And uh, in a linear system, we can follow the method of substitution or elimination. Here, elimination works better. Why? Because we have 2w minus here and 2w plus here. So if we add these two, then we are left with only length, right? One variable equation. And then it becomes easier for us to solve for the variable. Okay? Let me show you by writing this equation just under this equation, right? Then you will understand better. So I am writing this equation, perimeter equation here. So it becomes 2 length plus 2w equals to 55. Correct? The idea here is to explain you the process and the thinking going behind. Now, if I add these two equations, right, let's say we add them up, then what do we get? If we add them up, then we get 3 plus 2 is 5, so 5 length, and this is 0. Do you see that? This becomes 0 equals to 55. Do you see that? So, we eliminated W in this process. Therefore, this way of solving simultaneous equations is also called the method of elimination, right? And now we have only one variable, 5L equals to 55. And if we divide both sides by 5, we get length equals to 11. Is that okay? So if the length is 11, we can substitute this in our very first equation, right? It's a good practice to e e write equation numbers also. So this is, oh, okay, let me write this as 2. And let me write this as 1. So what did we do here? Here, we added 1 and 2, right? So, let me say, add it 2 plus 1. And we got this. And from here, we got L as this. So, we will sub this in equation 2. And find W, right? So, let me do this part here in a different ink. So, we got length as 11. So, we will substitute 11 here, right? So, we get 3 times 11 equals to 2w, right? So, 
3 times 11 is 33 divided by 2 is W, correct? So we get 33 divided by 2 equals to our width W, correct? So it is W equals to 2 goes 1 times, then it is 13, so 6 times is 12.5 is equal to 2. Well, as expected, our width came longer, right? Because we wrote the first equation in that way, right? I should have, when I've drawn like this, should have written 2 times length equals to 3 times W, right? But okay, that's fine. Either way, it works, right? So, the length is 16.5. Now, you can check the answer. If uh, Width is 16.5. So, how will you check the answer? We can check the answer by substituting length and width in the second equation. So, 2 times length is 22, right? So, we get 22 plus 2 times width was 33. So, we add 33 here and we get 55. So, the numbers are correct, right? Since the unit is in centimeter, we should write our answer as that length. So, we should write the answer very clearly. What is the length of each side? Length of each side is eleven centimeter and sixteen point five centimeter. Okay? Okay. Now second problem I will leave for you to do, but I'll read it out for you. Please make a note of this. A wire 42 cm long is cut in three pieces, which are in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3. Determine the length of each piece. This is very similar to the previous, and you can do it with simultaneous equations, and you can do it even otherwise using the knowledge of ratios. It's all up to you. Try it out. Okay? Thank you.